that gay bar. A lot of us, the crying shame. All right, you're going down there in the gay bar to meet some faggot cracker. Some faggot cracker, right? To, to deal with him in a homosexual act and expect the most high to have what? Where? Pity on you. This is what our people are doing. And so that's why the Heavenly Father is destroying a lot of our people. Because you're doing things you shouldn't be doing. A lot of black men are down low. Nigga, down there. You so damn low, you under the damn ground. Send me a damn break. And now you Puerto Ricans too. A lot of Puerto Ricans with that gay club. And got put to death. Because the Heavenly Father ordained it. All right? Yeah, it was a false flag event. White man did it. CIA did it. But the Heavenly Father cleared the way so it could happen. Because you're wicked as hell. So the Heavenly Father's mad at you. Listen for a minute, brother. Okay? Isaiah 33 and 6. We're reading out the book of Isaiah, chapter 33, verse 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy time. See? So what's going to stabilize you? Wisdom and knowledge of the Bible. It's not talking about your degree from uh, New York University. All right? That's only temporary. It's not talking about your degree from FIT or whatever you get go to school at. That's only temporary. The Heavenly Father is dealing with wisdom and the Bible. All right? And the laws and statutes and the commandments of the Heavenly Father. That's what he's dealing with. That's right. Other than that, you ought to give a damn about what you're doing in the world. If he did, they wouldn't be trying to destroy Bill Cosby or O.J. Simpson. They wouldn't have killed Whitney Houston. And a lot of our black entertainers. Why are they doing this? Because they are Israelites. They know you're the real Jews. And a lot of our people are sold out to this system. And when you sell out, they can do what the hell they want to you. Tupac got killed. Biggie got killed. They're killing you left and right. And not alone, the countless of our, of our people being slaughtered every day. You know, it's not on the news. There's no national coverage. They got a license to kill you. It's in the Bible. With that, Zechariah 11 and 5? It's yeah, Zechariah 11 and 5. Wake up, Bob. Zechariah 11 and 5. You know what I'm saying? Zechariah 11 and 5, get that. It says they hold themselves not guilty. All right, read out the book of Zechariah, chapter 11, verse 5. Whose possessors slay them? They slay you. How about that? They will kill you. Who are your possessors? The white man. Let's, let's, let's get down to the common denominator. The so-called white man is your possessor. He still owns you. You're still a slave. You still got his name. You got the slave master's name, right? So what if 2016, you're still a slave? You get up and go to work nine to five, well, hell, that's slavery. Right? The elite in a society don't work on damn nine to five. You're still a slave. You're still in debt of the slums. LeBron James is a slave, a high paid one. You're still a slave, brother, okay? Because to, to, be, to be free, you gotta have your own land. You have your own land? Hell no. Now I'm talking about your own land wow, wow. as your own uh, state, your own continent. Your own land. We're not talking about buying a damn house. We're talking about a nationality that has their own land and government and military. You don't have that. Our people don't have that. You don't even have a seat at United Nations. All nations at least got that. There's a nigga got in America. Nothing. You don't pay tax, they come and take your possessions. So let let uh, Jay Z don't pay your taxes. What will they do? They don't give a damn how well you can rap or sing. Steph Curry, Steph Steph Curry. Curry. They don't care about that. How well you can shoot a damn ball? They're gonna come and take everything you got. You're still a slave. Whose possession slave them? Go ahead and hold themselves not guilty. Did a white man feel he's guilty about killing you down there in Orlando? Hell no. He kills the niggas as far as he's concerned. He don't hold himself not guilty. I can walk around here crazy as hell. And you come on, you got you're part of the gay agenda. Like that's gonna help you. 
The only reason why they're making you gay is because it demoralizes you. It brings you down. Amen. It makes you effeminate. Amen. It destroys Amen. your spirit. Amen. They know you're the real Jews. They know you're the real supernatural. Amen. They know these things. You don't know it. So Obama has become president and they pulled the head out of you with him. Obama's the biggest faggot on earth. Realize, you be in that he caught the gay men's health club in Chicago, and Illinois, every Wednesday. The same time every Wednesday. Everybody know it. And who the hell knows who Michelle is? Man, woman, I don't know. <laughs> they say she a damn man. Who knows? Probably is. Walking around with a penis. And Obama's in the White House. Because they show you the abominations that you have in America. Your leader is a damn faggot here in America. That's what you got as a leader. That's what a Barack Obama is. And then you had another faggot come here, Pope Francis, of the Roman Catholic Church. A damn homo. That's, That's what right. You got. They came here and they're giving you orders, and they get, what they're doing is secretly killing you. They're setting up secret plans to annihilate you and destroy yeah. you. Read up. Hallelujah. And they that saw them say, Blessed be the most high. Yeah, they read it from the beginning again. Who's possessor slay them? They kill you. Your possessor, Barack Obama. He's running the White House. Everything that he do, every executive order is against you. This man signed more executive order than anybody in history. Check it out, Google it. And the next executive order is to bring guillotines in your neighborhood to chop your head off. That's what Obama cares about. But I got Obamacare. I got health coverage. It's Barack Obama. He's planning on killing you with it. Black man in America, too damn stupid to realize it. You didn't sign your debt by signing up for Obamacare. The block of the beast is in there. The chip is in there. But they're going to plant a chip in your right hand or your forehead. That's in the Obamacare law. But they know you don't read and you don't give a damn. Throw it up. Who's possessors slay them? They possess the you know, slay you. So the secret council set up by the CIA and the MI6 of, of the United Kingdom and the Israeli Mossad set up the whole Orlando deal, the massacre. They set it up. Why? It's a false flag to further their New World Order agenda. They want to get rid of the Second Amendment. Well, you can't carry guns. That's part of that deal, too. Why they want to get all your guns? Because when they come with martial law, when the military comes in the neighborhood, they don't want you to defend yourself against them. That's what's happening. Yeah. Huh? It's their choice. Look, Yo, everybody has a choice. That's why the most I said, choose you this day. Who's that? At? Deuteronomy? Who's that? You choose you this day. Who you gonna serve? I'm Ben. Where's that? At? Choose you this day. Who you gonna serve? Deuteronomy, right? Deuteronomy yeah. 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 Bible gives you. The Heavenly Father does give you a choice as a people. When he brought us out of Egypt, he said, what did he say? Choose. Choose you this day who you're going to serve. Right? Whether you're going to serve the Heavenly Father or whether you're going to serve the idol. The idol God. Yeah. Okay, yeah. We got it. Uh, go ahead, read it. Revelation chapter 19, verse 20. And the beast was taken, and with him the false prophet that wrought miracles before him, with which he deceived them that had received the mark of the beast, and them that
that worship his image. These folks were cast alive into a lake of fire, okay. burning with brimstone. Well, I'll tell him where you're at. I will read out the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 30, verse 15. See, I have set before thee this day. I'll tell him where you're at one more time. Deuteronomy, chapter 30, verse 15. See, I have set before thee this day. I set before you this day. Okay? And he's telling the nation of Israel. Right? He's telling the nation of Israel, choose. What did I set before you? Choose this day. Whether you will serve the Mosai or whether you're going to serve the idol God. Go ahead, huh? See, I have set before thee this day life and good and death and evil. Life, good, death, and evil. What are you going to choose? I got news for you. In these last days, you better choose the same thing again. In these last days. Are you going to choose Yahweh Shai, the Mashiach Yahweh Shai, who's a black man with the hair, where an enemy called Christ, or are you going to choose the Antichrist? All right? Are you going to choose Satan? Are you going to choose to worship your religions and idols? Which one are you going to choose? Huh? Well, there's that, that only two choices. <laughs> no, <laughs> worship Jesus. Hey, worship hey, you only get two choices, my man. Only two. Okay? Life or death. All right? Right. This is the Mashiach Yahweh Shai. Right? Who the world they call Christ. Right? That's who they call Christ. His, his biblical name is the Mashiach Yahweh Shai. His Hebrew name. All right? It means he saves. Okay? And then you're going to have a choice. Hold that up again. Come on. Pay attention. You're going to have a choice. Okay? Two choices. Life or death. Read it again, bro. Tell me what you're at. Deuteronomy. Read out the book of Deuteronomy. Chapter 30, verse 15. See, I have set before thee this day life and good and death right. and See, evil. Life, good, life and good, death and, and evil. Mm. Understand? Life and good, hold that up, hold that up, death and evil. Yes, you obey one. But those are your choices. You understand? Go ahead. Is that it? Yeah. Don't get on that. Yeah. yeah. Those are your choices right there. So if a person wants to choose, get the um, Revelation 3, where it says if you look warm, all right, get that for me. All right? No, he's not white. No, he's not white. We just showed you the black man over here. Okay, we just showed you that. All right? Listen up now. Listen. Yeah. Listen up carefully. All right, listen. Yeah, there you go, read that. We read out the book of Revelation, chapter 3, verse 15. I know thy works, that art, that thou art neither cold nor hot. I would thou wert cold or hot. So then, because thou art lukewarm. The Lord says a lot of our people are lukewarm. What does that mean? Lukewarm means what? You can't decide. You're neutral. You're in the damn middle. Take your stance. It will be, okay, it will be very shortly. Wait till Barack Obama uh, comes out with the martial law program, all right? Wait till he comes out with it. It will be, all right? It's coming, brother, all right? Executive order, all right? He said it's not easy to choose, but it will be. But you know why a lot of you choose to be lukewarm? Because you still want to stay in your sins. You don't want to give it up. The ones in Orlando didn't give it up, so they did. Ah, but they're dead now. See? Now, now they don't have a chance to give it up. You better give it up now, brother. Now is the time to give it up. So don't wait till tomorrow. Ah, you, well, well, with the Heavenly Father, that may be all the time you have. Think about it, brother. Now is the time, not tomorrow, today. Oh, give up the homosexuality. Give up your sins. Go ahead, huh? So then, because thou art lukewarm. Because you're lukewarm, go on. And neither cold nor hot. So if a man is cold, if he's saying he don't want no part of the truth, no part of taking on back his nationality, he's an Israelite, and he wants to stay out there in his sins, the Lord respects that better than somebody who's lukewarm. The Lord will respect that. Don't do. Right? But the Lord said, either you're cold, go ahead. And neither cold nor hot, 
I was Brother. still deep out of my mouth. So Lord said, if you're not, a, you're not cold, you're not hot, cold. and you're not in the truth, you're out there in the world. So Lord what? said, I'm not going to respect you. I'm going to spew you out of my mouth. The Lord will not honor a man who's out there in the sins in the world and don't want to change and repent. Don't want to repent. The Lord will not honor him. The Lord will not honor the homosexual down there. That's uh, why they're uh, dead. He allowed the CIA to kill him. The Lord opened the door. Remember, life and death come from the Heavenly Father. When it's life, concerning life and death, the Heavenly Father's involved. So why did the Lord clear the way for the CIA and MI6 to kill 50 people? Because they were wicked. Okay, they were wicked as hell. Understand? But let me say this. It right. don't matter, bro. That, 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 with the question that he asked you. Yeah. Especially for these people on this track here. Yeah. We never get a choice and freedom to do what we want. We get a choice to do what the most I want us to do. And as the brother brightly brought out, whether you be homosexual, queer, faggot, lesbian, Obama is against all you. Just for your skin color, not who you is. So what we try to tell our people, it's better you come on the most I side for the day when they come with the one world order, you get protection. That's what we out here to tell our people. From him. From, from, from we don't know who you find the protection. Brother, protection is from the Mashiach the outside, who the world called. Yes, okay? That's where your protection will come from. They don't think you're right. <laughs> All right? It's not going to come from Obama. You better understand that. Remember, Yahweh Shah said, I will spew you out of my mouth. That means now you're looking for your protection from the Antichrist. Ooh. And the Antichrist, right, he will sell you out, but it's only for a temporary time. All our people that have sold out in this world is temporal, brother. They got riches, they got money, they got fame, but it's temporary. <laughs> Remember, the nation of Israel is going to rule the earth forever under the Mashiach Yahusha. So while you seeking fame and fortune in a temporary society, the Lord is saying you're going to have it forever in the kingdom of heaven. So which one do you want? Which one do you choose? Understand? This is what the Lord has prepared for us. All right? So you gotta understand that. Go ahead, Ak. Go ahead, yeah. Um, verse 16. Uh, read okay. Read it again? Yeah, read it again. Alright. Read out the book of Revelation, chapter 3, verse 16. So then, because thou art lukewarm and neither cold nor hot. You're lukewarm, you're not even cold, you're not even hot, you're just in the middle. Go ahead. I will spew thee out of my mouth. The Lord will not honor you, he will not respect you, he will not even mention your name. Remember, when you pray, Yahweh Shai takes your prayer to the Heavenly Father. So, the Lord said, because you're not hot or cold, I will not even mention you before the Heavenly Father, before the throne of the Heavenly Father. I will not even mention you. All right? So understand that. So what if you say you're a Christian? The Christians, their prayers, a lot of their prayers are not heard in that Christian garbage. That's garbage. The Muslim religion, garbage. Roman Catholicism, garbage. It's all garbage. A lot of ones in Orlando, when those religions right, garbage. Did it save them? Hell no. In San Bernardino, did it save them? Sandy Hook, did it save them? Okay, it didn't save them, brother. The Boston Marathon explosion, did it save them? That's a good guy, no. And a lot of them were liberal religious, so it don't mean nothing, brother. All right, go ahead, all right. Get it? Yeah. Give me uh, Isaiah 1, Isaiah 1 and 9. But this is the problem that we have here. The Heavenly Father is saying that your sin is like Sodom and Gomorrah to him. And so, huh? You got it? Okay. Your sin is like Sodom and Gomorrah. And so therefore, the punishment of Sodom and Gomorrah will come upon you. And this is what happened. This is what happened in our life. Go ahead. Read out the book of Isaiah, chapter 1, verse 9. Except that the power of hosts I left unto us a very small remnant. So the Lord said, I'm going to leave you a very small remnant. Because if I don't, what's going to happen? Go ahead. We should have been as Sodom. As what? We should have been as Sodom. What Sodom? Anybody know? What Sodom? What's the Sodom. What Sodom? I ask you a question. What Sodom? What Sodom? Great. Huh? Great. Oversexual. Okay, say it again. Homosexuality. If the Lord didn't leave a remnant of the nation of Israel, all right, in these last days, we would have been like what? 
We should have been a Sodom. We would be like Sodom. I mean, the Lord is saying all of us would be like Sodom and Gomorrah. A right. bunch of faggots and lesbians running around here. That's right. That's what he's saying. But there is a remnant of us that's not going to go for that madness. You're not going to go for it. You're not going to go for it. Are you going to go for it? Yeah, you're going for it. <laughs> Brother, I'm asking, are you going to go for sodomy, homosexuality? Right? Are you going to take part in that act? No. Okay. Okay. But no, I'm asking, are you going to take part? I don't. I don't take part. Okay. That's all I want to know. It's either yes or no, brother. It's either yes or no. Go ahead, I, you know. And we should have been like unto Gomorrah. We should have been like unto Gomorrah. See? So Orlando was happened because there are remnants of our people who are like Sodom and Gomorrah. Homosexual. See? And the Lord got to do away with them. Go ahead, was that it? Yeah, Uh, Yeah. Get uh, Isaiah, Isaiah 3. Get Isaiah 3 and 9. That's Show him that one. Yeah. We read out the book of Isaiah, chapter 3, verse 9. The show of their continents. The show of their continents. What's continents? Continents. Physical appearance. What you, what you appear to look like. Understand? Appearance. The show of all people's are continents. And he's going, he's going to specify who he's talking about. Go on. The witness against them because the show of their kindness is a witness against them for example when you see somebody and he looks like he's kind of effeminate can't you tell sometimes because why his confidence shows it you ain't got to ask him you ain't got to go up to him look man are you a faggot you ain't got to do that but it shows on his face doesn't it yes it does because the most that's, that's the spirit that's a demon on it Okay? Listen, the show of their kind is a witness against this homosexual society. You can see it in them. Go ahead, And they declare their sin. They, they declare their sin. I'm going to show you sodomy is what? Go on. And they declare their sin as sodom. Sodomy, right? They, the ones who take on the homosexual right, declare their sin as what? Sodomy. See? In other words, they're homosexuals. It's a sin to be, deal with sodomy. Understand? Why they get yeah. so offended? Yeah, huh? Because I, you know, I know it's like I see on Facebook, I see a lot of them, they get so offended. When they hear that, you know, like me, I'm straight up to tell them, it's wrong. Yeah, it's wrong. I don't give a damn what they say. You're right, brother. It's wrong, it's wrong, and that's that. That's it. They try to blast but me next off time, Facebook. Tell them the Bible says that it's wrong. Okay. 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 Kind. Huh? Well, brother, didn't we just say that if you're, uh, the, uh, if, if you're lukewarm, the Lord's against you. Yes, it is. Okay. Well, okay, then what's your stance? Let me ask you something. Let me ask you something. If the Lord is looking for a man to stand up and be a man, I think you're going to be hot or cold. Now, what is your stance? He said you can't be lukewarm. You're going to die. <laughs> kind. Okay, yeah. I have a scripture, brother. That's kind. Kind. You're going to die. Everybody's going to die. You don't want to die. No, they're not. Go ahead, go ahead. Uh, tell them where you're at. This is Genesis 19, verse 24. He said, Then the Lord rained upon Sodom and upon Gomorrah, brimstone and fire from the Lord out of heaven. Right. He rained fire and brimstone on the five and cities he said the Lord do it. of Sodom and Gomorrah. And the Heavenly Father did that. What's fire and brimstone? Destruction, like a uh, what comes after a, a nuclear bomb drops, the fire and the brimstone. All right, he rained that on Sodom and Gomorrah. Well, it tells you he gonna destroy uh, Babylon the Great, like he destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah. That's in Isaiah 13, and I think it's 17, something like that. Isaiah 13. I have okay. more to this. Thing. Huh? I have more to this. Yeah. Okay. And he overthrew those cities and all the plains and all the inhabitants of the city, and that which grew up on the ground. Right, and he overthrew, he overthrew them, what, how? By fire and brimstone. And all the cities, of Cyrus, five cities actually, not just Sodom and Gomorrah, but five cities. And he overthrew them with fire and brimstone. And that's what's coming to America, okay? Because America shall be overthrown the same way. All right, I'm gonna show you. 
shall be overthrown the same way. Isaiah 13 and uh, 19. Isaiah 13 and 19. Read that. Right. We read out the book of Isaiah, chapter 13, verse 19. And Babylon. Uh, what is America? And Babylon. America is biblically Babylon the Great. Go on. The glory of kingdoms, the beauty of the Chaldeans, excellency, shall be as when God overthrew. No, when who? When the Most High overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. When the Most High, Yahweh, overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. All right? No nation in the history since the earth has been created has been overthrown like Sodom and Gomorrah. Not one. So that prophecy didn't happen yet. We just read it. It didn't happen yet. It happened with Sodom and Gomorrah, but didn't happen since. So what's the Lord saying? That's talking about America. Huh? It's going to happen in these last days. Why did he do it? Why is he going to do it? No, why did it? Why did he destroy Sodom and Gomorrah? Okay, we can, we can show him that. Get uh, Leviticus 20, 13. No, not that one. Are you going to tell me where to go? <laughs> right, and the Lord hates faggots, man. The Lord hates homosexuals, okay? As he, as he do. We see it. I have a scripture, boy. The show, the show of your countenance bears witness. I have a scripture, boy. This is 2nd Exodus 2, verse 8. He know the scripture. Woe be unto thee, assured, though that hidest thy unrighteousness in thee, all those wicked people, Remember what I did unto Sodom and Gomorrah. Right, see? Remembering what the Lord did. Because the Lord did it as an example. We're going to show you that too. He said it's an end sample. For what, uh, uh, what Sodom and Gomorrah were like, that was an end sample. How the Lord that's destroyed that it. And that's how the Lord will destroy America. But get the video. Get the video. 20, 30. Yeah. Okay. We're reading at the book of Leviticus, chapter 20, verse 13. If a man was the life of mankind, as the life of a woman. But for them, have committed an abomination. Now, he couldn't wait for the answer, right? But that's why he destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah. He knew the answer. Yeah, he knew the answer. That's why. Not so that we, one. <laughs> not that one. How does he know that? <laughs> he and everything else, he didn't know, but he knew that. Come on. Come on, man. All right? Because he's dealing with homosexuality and laws against it. All right? Read one more time. If a man was the life of mankind, as he lied with a woman, but for them have committed an abomination, they shall surely be put to death. And that's where they're going. Now you're going to tell me that down there in Orlando, all them people are, are going to be pitied by the, by, the, uh, by the masses of the people? The Lord said, their blood shall be upon them. They shall surely be put to death. Okay? Uh, get the... Um, Let's see, 2 Peter 2 and 6. 2 Peter 2 and 6. Brother, this is what's coming. Now, now you see what kind of society you have. That's what's walking out here, brother. Okay? That's what's walking out here. A bunch of homosexuals, lesbians, and LGBT, EFG, whatever they call it. Okay? That's what's walking out here. That's why they... they Obama signed the law to put in all 50 states. Because wherever you go, there's homosexuality. Because, look, they are contrary to the word. They have to fulfill prophecy. The white man, the society, the American government, got to fulfill prophecy. So they got to become like Sodom and Gomorrah. So Obama represented that. He represented the fulfillment, okay, of the end times to bring America like Sodom and Gomorrah. So the Lord can what? Say, now I can destroy this place like I destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah. Because you know, once it reaches 50 states, America's finished. It's over, brother. Okay? This is totally against the Heavenly Father, an abomination. It's finished. And, and Obama, the first nigga president, first black man president, is your worst nightmare. He's the devil, the Bible speaks of. And you thought the white man was bad. You haven't seen nothing yet, brother. He's an African, ain't he? He's not, he's not one of us. He's not one of us. He's the devil. Nimrod was an African, too. Yeah. Nebuchadnezzar was an African. Read the history about those men. Okay? They were all against the Israelites, our people. 
all right? They all tormented, they all tortured us, destroyed us, killed us, all those men, all right? Hammurabi, another African. You got a lot of them when you read history, right? Akhenaten, the pharaohs of Egypt, all black men, but they weren't all people. Understand? <laughs> the pharaoh that when we left out of Egypt, that chased us in the wilderness, all right? They were all black, dark skinned, but they weren't our people. And they were ready to annihilate us. That's why they chose Obama, because they know he's not a black man. And they know he's not one of us. Now, Michelle or Michael, whatever her name is, she's an Israelite. He married one of us. Her cousins, Michelle Obama's cousins, are Israelites. Huh? Say it again. Yeah. Rabbi, Rabbi Caper Spinet. Right. That's her cousin. So you don't think Obama, Obama know who you are? You're an Israelite. Okay? The white man's an imposter. The white woman's an imposter. Okay? They're not Israelis. They never were, they never will be, brother. Okay? What? I heard earlier someone walked by and you were saying that the Orlando shooting should have happened. Yeah, the, the Lord allowed for that. The Lord allowed it to happen. Okay. Well, well, we're showing you out of the Bible. Get Leviticus 20, 13 again. We're showing you out of the Bible, that according to the Bible, that Orlando shooting, those homosexuals in that gay club, was a judgment against them by the Heavenly Father. Okay? You, you, you can call it hate. hate. The Heavenly Father hates them. The Heavenly Father hates them. The Heavenly Father hates them. So if the Heavenly Father hates them, listen. If the Heavenly Father hates them, because we're the, we're the sons of the Heavenly Father. We're the Israelites. So if the Heavenly Father said he hates gays, I hate gays. If the Heavenly Father says that, that he hates idol worship, achieve? I hate idol worship. What does that achieve? Okay, it achieves the Heavenly Father's plans. Leviticus 20, 13. Read, we're reading out the book of Leviticus, chapter 20, verse 13. If a man also lie with mankind, as he lied with a woman, both of them have committed an abomination. They shall surely be put to death. Now, if you understand that, what does that say? I'm asking. So you're preaching no, I'm asking. Do you understand that? Yes or no? I don't believe it. Okay, well, that's, I well, that, that, yeah, that's the problem. I don't Let me ask you this. Let me ask you. Are you gay? It doesn't matter if I'm gay. Are you gay? I'm not gay, okay. but I stand okay. for gay people. Okay. I stand for trans people. Yeah. Like for okay. 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 But Romans, right. you see you know what she said? Yeah, she Romans. stands for everybody. So yeah. who stands for black people? Right. Okay. Who right. stands for the for the for the slave sign? Give the slave sign. For the slave sign. Who stands for the so-called black man in America? Yeah, you stand for gay, you stand for Chinese, you stand for everybody. But who stands for the so-called black man in America? You just read a You understand me? Yeah, and, 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 and we believe what the Moon side says.